brother making Marley laugh over the serenity in the house. Mm. Marley is a really nice person, I have he to is. say. He's like, very sweet. He's I don't often say this about a person, but he is a beautiful person, like Ooh, inside and out. Like you can't fault Marley. Uh, you fell for the edit. I didn't fell, fall for the you edit. Fell for the edit. I did not fall for the edit. <laughs> but like I just I'm a little bit besotted with Marley. Mm. A little bit more so now. Mm. Than, than before. What? Now he's had his hair cut. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually didn't like the haircut. No, I, the, it's sort of like an undercut, but he's got sort of, not short hair, but it's like he had an undercut, but he's got There's like a lot an going afro. On here, yeah. but nothing on the side. So yeah. I thought his hair looked better when he went into the house, but it was mm. less long on the top, because oh, it's yeah. maybe a bit long on the top. Mm. But um, no, I just think like Marley is, he has a really nice voice for a start. Mm. And there's just something about the way he is as a person mm. and the way he um, talks. Like, yeah. I think like for reality TV people, most mm. most people are not cut out for talking on TV. Mm. But he, you can put a camera on him, and he's mm. absolutely like mm. made for it, really. And mm. I've heard him talking on like the Sunrise show the morning oh, yeah. after, mm. where he said like he had not got got any sleep, but he just seemed like so comfortable talking mm. to someone on TV. And if it's me, I'm, I splutter and I trip yeah. over my own tongue and stuff. And he's, he just is not like that. No, he's laid back is what he is, yeah. isn't he? Well, I'm ple- pleased to hear that you're tripping over your tongue and spluttering when you're my podcast co-host. Yeah. Good to know. You'd be better off with someone like Molly. <laughs> oh, it wouldn't be as fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, they got a champagne breakfast hamper, oh, apparently. And they got to see their families on screen again. Mm. Again. Yeah, I've I've actually written this as pointless this close to the end. Yeah, that's true. So we saw SJ's husband. Was that for the first time? I think the first time we've seen him. Mm. Is he's Scottish? Yeah, he was Scottish. He had a bit of a Billy Connolly vibe, didn't he? <laughs> did he? Did he say, correct me if I'm wrong, did he say you can survive in jail, so this is a doddle? Yeah. Has SJ been no, locked up I, I think he said you could survive in jail. Oh. <laughs> Although, maybe. Oh, S- SJ's where, secret past. Where did she get those antiques from, yeah. eh? <laughs> Perhaps she sold that blood diamond to Big Brother. It was dodgy. <laughs> yeah, and got Tilly out. <laughs> um, then we had Ari's... Was it Ari's sister or Ari's friend? Sister. Yeah, she, I thought she looked like him. Ari introduced... This is Christina, my best friend. Mm. Did Ari not the other day just say that SJ was his best friend? <laughs> Cause Ari is always saying that someone is his best friend. Hold on, you said it was his friend. sister. Is it his sister or his best friend? No, he said to his sister, this is Christina, my best friend. Oh, got you, sorry. Whereas he just said the other day, SJ was his best friend, and we were like, what? Oh, it's full of shit. <laughs> um, I've got more on that later, by the way. Oh. I'll, I'll hold on to this for you, because oh. I think it's worth talking about it when mm. Ari's out. Oh. Um, so then we had Marley's dad. A man of few words, I've written. <laughs> goes on, and Christina goes, who's that? Uh, who do you fucking think, Christina? But it might have been, because... Marley has a funny way of addressing his dad that oh, you wouldn't expect. Mate. Do you say mate? No. no. Bruv. Bro. <laughs> bro. Bro. I thought, maybe that's why Christine's confused. That was Because confusing. he's calling his dad brother and bro. Yeah, that was confusing me as well. I found that very unusual. Plus, I thought his dad looked a bit womanly at first. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a lot of confusion here. <laughs> brother, mother, who knows? <laughs> um... I think that what it is mm. uh, is that like Marley obviously he's now only got his dad at home mm. and his brother mm. and I think oh, they carry on let's talk about his brother in the final they carry on <laughs> like we're the, la- we're the boys that are left and that's mm. why they're kind of like bro uh, yeah, yeah that makes sense I think that's partly it yeah that's fine but it did throw me off for a bit and mm. Christina as well by the sounds of it uh, here I've written I can't see anyone but Marley winning this uh, I've just written, literally the same place. Marley's getting such a winner's edit. Ah, uh, there you go. That, that, I mean... Uh, but they can't, uh, they can't possibly know because it's a public vote. But oh, come they, on. Can't possibly know. They set it up for Marley to win every step of the way. Well, the, the fireworks. When Marley came out of the house, he literally went like this. Yeah, well... So SJ's like holding her fucking back. SJ backed out with a market Yeah, bag. fucking Christina's holding a fucking jar of peanut butter. Marley literally comes out and puts his arms in the air like that. Christina holding peanut butter? Yeah. I missed that. Yeah, Marley literally came out and put his arms in the air like that. I mean, come on. That's probably the fucking picture we'll use. It's a joke. But still, <laughs> Marley deserved to win. But did we just think that? <laughs> Big Brother announced that it was 30 minutes to the challenge. Mm. Ari started stretching mm. his cold muscles. What do you think about that, Lindsay? I've written psycho competitive Ari. 
No, you're not supposed to stretch your cold muscles. Oh, I don't like I would know about that. No, I thought you would know, actually. Oh, well, why? Well, you're quite the fitness freak at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're supposed to do cardio before you stretch anything, because mm. otherwise your muscles aren't like warmed up and you can break the fibres. So oh. Mark Ari could have been setting himself up for a fall. Oh, well, maybe that's why he lost the challenge. Ari said, you do not have to play an honest, mm. boring game in order to get to the end. Mm. Let somebody who's played a risky, thrilling game get to the end for mm. once. And I was like, you know, fair enough. I was kind of rooting for Ari to get to the podium, at least. <laughs> podium. <laughs> I was. <laughs> um... I've got a note for you here. Yeah. I think SJ's earrings are actually earrings and not paper clips. Oh, okay. Uh, like, Thanks. they are paper clips, but they're earrings of paper clips. Okay, so they're not actual paper clips. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's good to know. <laughs> Makes sense, because how would that work, a paper clip as an earring? Mm, I think you could do it, no? Just oh, oh I suppose you could put it through, yeah. Hmm. Should we, you've Should got about one? The Should we try it? Mm, no. <laughs> oh, you'd want to sterilise it first. Oh, God. <laughs> so... Was this... Oh, yeah, so they were outside waiting for the comp, right? Yeah, in it was the yard, wasn't it? Do you know about the yard, by the way? Have I told you this? No, oh, I don't know. They have to, like, get in transport and be driven to the yard. Oh, yeah, I think you did tell me that. Oh, yeah. like on bots. Yeah. Go on that little buggy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they have to... It's not attached to the house, but it looks like it is, doesn't it? So I think it's quite an ordeal for them to actually, like, get to the arena mm. and then Big Brother's, like resetting competition I mm. think it's a really long process basically mm. taking part what, in these challenges Uber? I'm not sure <laughs> if you <laughs> want to be cheap get Uber <laughs> he's a <bad. laughs> Angie Bowie <laughs> talking of um, bots yeah sad oh. news Rylan and D.I. Dan split up yeah I knew it I knew it <laughs> um, I've not really been in I think Dan read the article to me. I've, I think Ryland made a think comment. He said they split up because Dan wanted to be famous and didn't want to have more children, and <laughs> Ryland wants to have more children. They split up because Dan wants to be famous, oh, yeah, and so he's not famous as, as much as he wants to be. Oh, yeah, because he's got no talent, that's why. He's just someone's husband. But in the statement I read, oh, yeah. Ryland was basically blaming himself. Oh, yeah, I don't know why he said that. No. Don't blame yourself, Ryland. I bet. Oops. I bet it ain't your fault. I bet it's D.I. Dan's fault. Um, yeah, I feel weird, like, prying around this because I feel like we... Oh, I've yeah. got a certain I'm proximity pry- to Ryland and I want to respect his privacy and I feel like... I'm only saying what, what the has been released. Possibly. Yeah, I know. I'm not well, speculating any further. <laughs> and we don't know anything. <laughs> but, um, Fucking hell. I was, on BB on Blonde. I was worried about Redacted. Ryland because I actually thought he's gone silent since mm. Nikki died and I thought mm. it might have been directly related to that but apparently mm. it was more of a personal relationship yeah. thing. Yeah. But I just hope Ryland's okay and that he's going to be back on telly and the radio soon because mm. people miss him. Oh, uh, he'll be all right, you know. It's, My it's... stepmother asked me, she was like, I was going to ask you if mm. you know what's going on with Ryland. Like, no, mm. we don't know each other like that. Ah, uh, it's a shame. Because she was like, he's not on the radio anymore. Mm. God, he must be hit pretty hard then if he's not working. Oh, he's offline like entirely, yeah. Yeesh. Yeah, that's not good. No. Um. Good luck to you, Ryland. Why are we talking about that? Because you were saying about them getting a car to the arena. It reminded me of Bots. <laughs> uh, okay. So, yeah, the winner of this challenge gets to evict other in here. How many mm. times do they all have to walk down that corridor alone? Oh, yeah, they have to like, do <laughs> They're the sort posing, of, like, yeah, aren't they? <laughs> pumped edit of, like, yeah. I'm going to the final challenge. Take three. Um, <laughs> SJ said, I'm very nervous, big brother. <laughs> 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 so the comp was what was it they had to dig what did they have to do something to do with digging a hole getting that box oh, through it was basically like the best of all yeah. of the challenges in the past oh, didn't you think recycling yeah it was like here's a bit of all these challenges it's yeah. like a, a mega boss kind of thing yeah the final survival end kit. level it's yeah survival kit through. <laughs> so they had to um, move those sandbags which reminded me of the potato sacks mm. To reveal the chest, mm. then they had to dig under that beam again where mm. they had the digging competition mm. before. But they had to take the chest with them as well. That looked so hard. Ari is so good at digging. D- Ari was like a fucking demon, Bulldozer. wasn't he? It was like it, I said. I remember him being good at the digging before, and I said yeah. to Jack, "He's going to be good at this." And he was fucking. How? He was going nuts. How is digging a skill that you've got? 
He must have dug his way out of a few holes <laughs> over his time. So I give myself into a few. <laughs> more, right? Then after that, you had to unpack that puzzle piece out of the chest. Oh, yeah. Danny's survival kit. Yeah. Mind the lollies. <laughs> and then construct an arrow-shaped puzzle. Uh, good luck, Marley. <laughs> then, <laughs> then you have to get a sledgehammer. Oh, God, and, yeah, like, I forgot about that part. Whack your way through a box <laughs> to get out a ball. <laughs> then you had to put that ball on the scribble, yeah, scramble balance around. beam. Yeah. That was look, so hard. No, wait. The eye. Wait, wait. You had to ba- no, what was it? You had to balance on a beam. Yeah, on. You no, know, the thing was going across like that. Oh, and you had to put it's the a ball up there. Yeah. That's quite BBUS. On an I feel. eye. It was. In fact, me and Jack watched a BBUS where they did almost the exact same thing that same but week. Not on a balance beam, I bet. No. Don't you think that anything BBUS has done, Big Brother Australia takes it and goes, I'll yeah. make that even fucking harder for these last Yeah. <laughs> How can I turn that up to a fucking hundred? Yeah. Okay. You can do that pulley thing on a balance beam. Yeah. So see, like that. Yeah, that's true. So, that was so hard. And I, to be fair, I don't think the women had a hope in hell. Do you? Why do you think the women were Because a just that... Well, actually... Come on. on. What? Just digging the thing, <laughs> digging the thing out in the first place, yeah. at the sandbags or whatever it was... Digging that whole thing, it's much easier for a man to dig than a woman. It just <laughs> is. Men are stronger. That's just a fact. Yeah. Um, and then going under, dragging it for Just everything was harder for a woman, in my opinion, apart from the puzzle, obviously. The thing, the thing with these... Everything that preceded the puzzle mm. was really just set dressing. Mm. Because eventually they were all going to hit the puzzle mm. and they were all going to be competing on the puzzle. I suppose so. Like, there was no yeah. way anyone would, like boss their way through it and complete the puzzle because don't forget the puzzle yeah. was I think in the US we've seen it before where that's against a flat wall and they have to get it through a certain window yeah it was the fucking the big brother eye yeah and the eye is mm. made up of like lines and it mm. had like a spiral so it was like a spiral a spiral <laughs> like doubly doubly hard mm. So, yeah, it was always going to end up with, like, a sort of face-off at the end, which I think they designed it for that well, very purpose. M- Marley couldn't even put that fucking arrow together. <laughs> yeah, did he struggle with that? <laughs> yeah. Was, was he... struggled with it right? Did Ari begin the puzzle before Marley? Yeah, way before. Right. Yeah, way before. Yeah, I remember I was really freaking out because I did not want Ari mm. to win that. Mm. I was really rooting for Marley. Mm. And I needed... Ari to go at this point. No, I wanted Ari to win because I wanted SJ to go because I knew that they were going to take Marley anyway. And I thought Ari, Christina, and Marley is a better final three than having Ari SJ. Ari would have evicted Marley. He said he wasn't going to. No, he would have done. He would have. I think he would have done because Ari recognised Marley as the biggest threat to win. No, that, I mean, that would have been the correct game move. It would have been, but it would have also been quite devastating. Mm. Ah! For Ted, <laughs> for Ted yeah. I just think for the public at large. However, at speaking about the public at large. Yeah. <sighs> oh no, what? No, we'll come to that later. Oh we'll no. That. Don't tell me it's what I think it is. Yes, it is. We'll, Fuck come off. we'll come to that. Oh, oh, I don't even want. Oh, God. We haven't even started BB23 yet. Let's. Uh, <laughs> God. <laughs> right. Yeah, I put this is like the ultimate combo of the past challenges. Have Ari is so good at digging, he's out in front mm. and completes that puzzle first. Marley in second place. They all make it to the competition. Marley doesn't know how he feels. This must be after he won. Mm. So I've never felt this way before. The others all jumped on him and were hugging him. That was yeah. sweet. I like that. What I didn't quite like here was Big Brother literally asked him if he was looking up to the sky to his mum. Mm, they were sort of... A bit heavy-handed with it all, weren't they? I think so. And then Marley said that his mum got him there. But mm. and do you know what? I'm going to say it now. Go on. I'm going to go there now. A lot of people weren't happy with Marley winning. Oh, that really? I've seen on comments on like the Big Brother in uh, Twitter comments on the official Twitter with the video of Marley winning and stuff. A lot of it was negative. Same what? Um, some people were mo- moaning about his gameplay, saying that he floated his way to the to the top. Some people were saying that he didn't have the strategy. And there was a comment thread, and I saw someone say that they'd wish that Marley would go... Someone else had won a challenge like further down, earlier mm. in the weeks mm. because they wanted Marley to go. And I put, why on earth would you want Marley to go? Because I just can't think oh, of a no. logical reason <laughs> oh, no. that anyone would want oh, Marley no. to go. You opened the box there. Are you going to actually read it? Oh, God. I don't think I'm didn't I show you? Didn't I show you this? No, I, oh, I don't know. Maybe you did. I don't know. This is, by the way, feel free to go look at the timeline and report. Yeah, you did. At MS, that's 
underscore dingo. The emojis in the username give it away. There's two oh. dog emojis and a um, Australian flag, and also the profile picture is a dog, so there's not mm. their own picture. You already know they're wrong. And mm. the pr-